Today, I am going to show you how to make this two color brush. So let's get started. Okay, and to make this brush, we're going to start off with this square canvas, which as you can see is 2048 by 2048. I'm using 300 dpi. And what we're going to do is change the background color to black. And we're going to change our brush color to white. And what we want to do is get a nice monoline brush. Oh, I don't have one recent, so let's see. We go to calligraphy. And there's the monoline that comes with the program. And I'm going to draw a circle. So I draw this in like this and hold until it does something. Come on, snap to shape. There we are. I press the finger of my other hand onto the canvas, and that makes it a perfect circle. I'm going to go with this size, and now I'm going to release my stylus, and then I will release my finger. And then I'm going to drag and drop the color right on in here to the middle. And then we're going to duplicate this. We're going to go up a layer. I'm going to change my stylus color to black. And I am going to create another circle in here. Finger down. Stylus up, finger up, drag and drop. And now let's take this circle here. I'm actually going to do it in both of them. And we're going to center it. And then let's center the black circle as well. I have my magnetics and snapping both turned on. My distance is set to 10. My velocity is 1.6, just in case you're not working the same way I am. And then here on this layer 3, I'm going to do a Gaussian blur. And there we go. Not very much, just a little bit. And then I can merge layer 3 down into this second layer 1 and invert it. Now what I want to do is go all the way up to the top, and even though I already have one, I'm going to create a new library, and we're going to call it Two Color. And remember, to create a new library, you tap on this plus sign right here, then you give it a name, and you're automatically in that library. If we tap on this plus sign here, we're going to be creating a new brush. So what I want to do is go into my layers, and on my bottom layer 1, I'm going to tap on it, and I'm going to choose Copy. And then I'm going to go into my brushes and tap on that plus sign, the one all the way up here. And I'm going to put my spacing to 7%. Stabilization, I'm going to put at 50 for amount. The stabilization amount, we're going to put at 60. And the motion filtering amount, we're going to put at 50. So 50, 60, and 50. Now let's go over to the shape. We're going to do Edit, Import, and Paste. 
and you see how that circle changed size, it's important to have the right size circle in here. This is going to be our lower brush. It has to be the same size as the top brush for this. Let's go into grain and we're going to page down here until we see the blend mode that's right here. And I'm going to change this multiply to linear burn. And then we're going to go down to color dynamics. And for color dynamics, I want all four of these secondary colors to max. Now, I'm not certain that you have to have them all up like this for this to work, but I am certain that this does work. So that's all it really counts, right? Let's go to Apple Pencil. I'm going to change this opacity right here from max all the way down to none. And I'm going to put the pressure size all the way to max. And that allows us to create this nice, smooth tapering. Let's go to Properties. I'm going to put the maximum size to max. The minimum size I'm going to put to 5. And the minimum opacity I'm going to put to max. That way it's always going to have opaque you don't have to worry about any transparencies on this. I'm going to take the Orient to Screen off. We're going to go to About This Brush. And we're going to call this Two Color Brush. And we'll tap on Done. And then we'll go here and we will tap on the top layer one and copy it. We'll go into the brushes. I'm going to slide the two color brush to the left and choose duplicate. Then I'm going to tap into it, go to shape and do edit. And then we'll do import. And then we'll do paste. And that gives us this fuzzy little thing right there. We'll tap on done and done. Now in this combination brush, two color brush one is going to be at the top and two color brush two is going to be at the bottom. So with two color brush one selected, I'm going to slide two color brush over to the right and that selects it. Notice it's a darker blue color. And then we tap on combine. And the way this works, is very simply. We're going to tap on our little color dot and I'm going to choose a dark purple and for our second color here I'm going to go with a light lightish yellow. Now whichever one you have as your primary color is what this dot right up here shows. I want my primary color to be the purple to start out with. Let's see what that looks like. We start drawing on the screen. And as you can see, the primary color is the one that goes on the outside. So that's what's actually going into the secondary brush. And the advantage of doing it this way if we reduce the size, let's go down to about 20, we can actually use this to create a flower. Let's change this purple to a washed out purple. That's good. Let's do a washed out here. And then just create a little circle here. And then we're going to go down a layer. And we're going to make this primary color here a green. And we'll take this secondary color. We'll make it a lighter green. 
Remember, the color that is secondary is the one that's going to go inside. So if you want a bright inside and a dark outside, this is the way to do it. And I just simply draw a line going down. And there we go. we got a bright outside and a dark inside. And then I'm going to tap on this, and I'm going to tap on the darker green. Let's go up a layer and create a leaf there. We'll go down a layer and create a leaf there. And you have created a general flower here. You can use different things for your two colors. If we go into this one, you can see I've been working on this. This is a two-color brush with a streak on it. See how that looks? Let's change our background color to, oh, this nice blue color. And you can see that we've got transparency going on this brush here. And what I did is for both the top brush and the bottom brush, I used the exact same picture, which is from our shape library. If I do edit, import, and source library, you will see. This is the Flix brush, and that's why you have spaces in between. But if we cancel out of this and duplicate it, and we go to the secondary brush, go to Shape, Edit, Import, Source Library. Let's go back down to where those Flix were at. And you'll notice that there are other shapes. We got the flicks. What happens if we choose this charcoal wisp right here? And we give that a done and a done. And now we get a little bit less transparency on that. And what if... we use our circle here. We go down to this, edit, import, paste, and hit done until we're out of that. And now, this is what we get. We're actually way down there. Let's come up here. There we go. And this would make a very good stem. For our flower, it's nice and variegated, and you can do variegated leaves with it as well. So you can have a nice texture color. So I hope this helps you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.